Hey guys, welcome in. Thank you so much for joining me for the next episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. In the last one, I went with Dutch and Bill to destroy a moonshine distillery on behalf of Sheriff Gray. And I mean, it went fine. I'm a little concerned about how risky Dutch is being getting involved with the law enforcement of this town, but he seems to think that it's going to be fine. So, I mean, we'll sh we shall see, but I am a little worried for today's episode. I think I want to continue with the main story momentum and either do Bill or Abigail's mission, but I don't know which one yet. So we'll walk around camp and make a decision. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for the next hour. I hope you enjoy this and let's jump into the game. Deputy Sheriff. Finally, we have achieved a state of true insanity. For the first time in my life, I'm a deputized lawman. We went off with some moronic dupe deputy, working for the alcohol-drenched Sheriff Gray, pursuing some moonshiners. Dutch is convinced this will somehow lead to riches beyond compare. Seems the one powerful local family, the Grays, ex-Scots, is warring with another. Proud English family, the Braithwaites, like some long-running dispute from the border country. Apparently there's gold or women or something at the root of this, and if it's gold, we want it. Either way, we are so deep in the swamp and so entirely lost ourselves, I hope it will take the Pinkertons in there like a long while to find us. We shall see. In the meantime, a new career path in law seems to await. Seems like amongst our other perils, a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders won't take too kindly to outsiders or anyone who ain't living in the distant past. Well, well, well. That's Officer Morgan to you. <laughs> I love it. I mean, we didn't really earn it. But hell, I'm probably just as much of an officer as Officer Gray. Because what? He probably was born into it. He probably wasn't elected or anything. Okay, so we have Abigail. Oh, she's walking up to me. Okay, we're doing hey, Abigail. Arthur. What's going on? Yep. Well, kind of walked into that. Looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. Okay. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs Ooh. to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Oh my god. What is Dutch planning? So he just said that we're taking the moonshine to the Braithwaite. So, how are you oh. liking life as a lawman? What are we doing, Dutch? Well, I think they call it hiding in plain sight. Oh, is that what they call it? Because I got another word for it. What if we just I'm hide? Sure that you have, but the way I see it, we stick out here either way. Now, we can hide and skulk in the woods. We'll arouse more suspicion than if we act okay. friendly and helpful. Interesting theory. I wonder how the practical will work out. We shall see. Faith, Arthur. Okay, I see his logic. Oh my god. A little thank you for that seasoning you brought me. Okay. Okay, thank you. What'd you bring me? Nope, nope, nope. I did not mean to click that. Back out. Cigarettes and what's the other item? Miracle tonic. That's I think that's been there, I thought. I'm not sure. So let me go ahead and eat and my honor's pretty high, so I'm not gonna do any camp chores. I'm okay. There's a question mark back there. Guess not. Now what could that possibly be? Who is it? Oh, is that Jack? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, is that Tilly? That's Tilly. Oh, wait a second. Is this therapy with Tilly? You and I go you okay, Arthur? I think it might be. You want to talk? Mother and don't leave me much spare time, Mr. Bell. You know what? Okay. I think okay. I'm going to take her up on that. Well, Let me just scarf down my food really quick. I'd show you a real good time. Real good. And uh, I've always fancied father. The boy has a father, Mr. Bell. You disgust me, Micah. My <laughs> oh. 
look at that D-bag. Always fancy father. Oh my god. Does he see me? <laughs> I think he sees me. We're having a staring contest. Whoever walks away first is the lesser man. Mm-hmm. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? You're getting nervous. I can see it on your face, Micah. You can't handle this. You know that this is a losing battle. Come on. Go get some food. I know you're hungry. Come on. I'll understand. Oh! Oh! You you guys saw it! Wow. Never forget. I, I, did I lose my opportunity at therapy? I sure did. Well. Damn it. That's fine. Honestly worth it for proving that I'm the better man than Micah worth it let me get my horse and get my day started a man in uniform way I hear. hey Charles <laughs> hey what are you working on fire arrows interesting mm. you give me a bottle of moonshine and I'll make you some I'm pretty sure I already have some mm. whiskey do no it has to be moonshine nope, has to be moonshine whiskey is strong enough I think I did this okay. on PC thank you and then my pleasure. If I don't have moonshine, I will actually be shocked. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Thanks, Arthur. Okay, give it to him. What? I don't have moonshine? Whoa, Arthur! Uncle. The smell. It's cologne. It's liquor. It's cologne from Cologne, Germany. <laughs> What's it called? Oh, I... I just had a few nips, Arthur. I'm not drunk. I'm just happy. <laughs> you know, you ought to try sometime. Drinking? <laughs> happiness. Try happiness. Just, just a little. <laughs> I hear you okay. been drinking and taking morphine again, Reverend. <laughs> oh, is that what he's doing? Is that why he acts so crazy? Say much for your soul. Drinking and morphine. Okay. There's no soul in any of us? Girl. He says, I believe there's winners and losers. I feel like he's just proving that at some point. He is going to backstab us and look out for himself. Yeah. He's not a group person. It's only what's best for Micah. I feel like at any point he would throw us under the bus. <gasps> you know what? Oh my god. If the Pinkertons were to offer him a deal, he would take it. If they offered him the same deal they offered Arthur. That better not happen. Boys, hey, howdy. Arthur. What are you doing? Yeehaw. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? <laughs> well, I ain't got a market for it. <laughs> they made it. They must have someone to sell it to. Oh god. <laughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. Stole All it from them we'll and sell it back. A deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I mean, it's worth a shot. Going now. They're either gonna buy it or they're gonna try to kill us. To Good luck. Either one of those. You, We're used to it at this we'll point, so. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Oh, the thoroughbreds. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. Barely. So I'll try though. What exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? 
I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction. Yeah. Like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. And all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. Look at these trees. There's a great boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. Wow. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Okay. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Oh, yeah. This tiny Hello, little house. Gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? Oh. I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, she's at the house. We'll be so... watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Is Sheriff Gray the head of the the Grays? Catherine Braithwaite. I'm assuming this is probably Penelope's mom. What you want? Found something. Out in the hills. Thought thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. <laughs> well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Nope. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> no, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. I mean, yeah, because, like, Lord forbid Sheriff Gray got Those involved doing business with you. even further. And listen, uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they oh. call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back <laughs> sometime and tell me how you make it. I like out. her. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. I like her. All right. Next stop. Ribbage. The road saloon. Here we go. I see what she's doing now. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially no. after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Took Apparently, a while though. Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their oh. full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. Yeah. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. Oh. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm oh, the clown. Okay. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <coughs> Smoke this pipe. 
Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. I wish I could see. You? <laughs> oh, shh, shh. <laughs> you can't speak. Oh. You're turned idiot. <laughs> right? Bro, poor mammy is hot. Uh, there, there. Manton, there, there. Should Don't I change my outfit? Now. Oh, I can't. I don't, I'm not on my horse. Dang it. I feel like the outfit gives me away. Ah! I'm sorry! Oh my god! So we give this away. Maybe everyone gets addicted to it and then they want to buy her moonshine. But she's probably just doing it to piss off the sheriff anyways. Just trying to play into the idiot thing, you know? Can't drive. Right here. Arla house. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <laughs> Not a great disguise, but hopefully it works. Do I have my sheriff badge on still? Hopefully not. Okay, I took it off. Good. Imagine we walk in and I still have it on. Gentlemen! Gentlemen. Right the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple what? of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Well, it's here goes nothing. Like... Go behind the bar in the saloon. The whole town's in here? Oh, yeah. Wow. Pretty busy. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. <laughs> For the next 30 minutes... The drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free! Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them! So hurry up, put old Fenton to work! Yeah. Don't get him mad, though! His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody! Come on, fellas, it's your lucky day! I'll have one, Fenton! A gift! Raise bottle? Raise glass! It's a sin you look again! All the way to the top. You got what to do, man. Let's go. Fine, man. Don't listen to your brother. Just shine Over here, Finn. Don't let her down, my boy. Come on. Enjoy, Come on. boys. Oh, it's already nighttime. Uh oh. Oh, God. <laughs> We're still pouring. Hey, send a couple this way, will you? I got gotcha. you. A mean job, but a generous pour. Hurry and serve these poor gentlemen, Fenton. Oh, my wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> I only went out for milk. What have you got against you? You better get your ass home. Light hit the spot. Keep them coming, Fenton. Just keep them coming. Serve. <laughs> drink up, drink! <laughs> 
Oh. Ah. Moines Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get him. Oh, 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 no. Those bastards from Shady Bell. I want both those sons of bitches dead. I can't see him when he's in that corner. You think we wouldn't find you? Oh. It's who's booze. Oh! oh my god! Go! We gotta go! I lost my disguise, no! Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there! They got out the back! Got more coming after us. I see them. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, we run the liquor around here. Stay the hell out of our feet. How many are there? We run the liquor now. In front of you, oh, God. One on my left, one on my left. No! You have got to be kidding me. I had that. I was thinking to myself I should heal. But I, did, I didn't know if I had anything. I'm getting this out of okay, I do have a couple items. For some reason, I thought because I wasn't on my horse that all my stuff was gone. Got more coming after us. Well, shoot them then. Okay. I'm gonna get it this time. Oh, behind us, behind us. We run the moon. They hit the moonshine. Can't let them do that. I keep forgetting. Hold R3 and it'll turn. Oh, I thought he was gonna run in front of the train. Alright. Anyone else? We. Nope. Nope. We're not safe. Nice. Nice. That was a good shot. You see any more of them? Don't think so. Uh, no. Hopefully that's everyone. Jesus, all this old <laughs> few bottles of booze. I reckon it's people that don't want another gang on their patch. We have a few bottles of moonshine left. Can I give one of these to Charles, please? Okay. Pull off the road here. Ah.
All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertising. Yeah. Advertising. Did you think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Yeah. I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I oh, doubt that she good. sent them after us. That wouldn't make much sense. But maybe. So I feel like it was someone think? else. About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. Oh, okay, his we father. We convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot will be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? Mm. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, wait, what? I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Payback for his dad? Have we heard about his dad? I know we've heard about a girl, and that has something to do with Como Driscoll, who we still haven't seen or dealt with. Huh. Interesting. So now we have on the map Bill, we have Javier, and we have Hosea. Who should I go to? Just told you to meet up with Jose and Sean at Braithwaite Manor while they ingratiate themselves. I might as well do Bill first, since we're in camp. Braithwaite Manor. Those trees are so beautiful. I've met some charming women in my time. Catherine Braithwaite, the mother hen to that particular bunch of roosters, ain't one of them. A sour old jug of piss and bullshit I ain't never met. Even Hosea's charms were lost upon her. She refused our offer of selling her back her shine and instead got us to give it away to annoy the saloon owners in town. Hosea put on quite a show until we got interrupted by the bastards we robbed when grabbing the stuff. We just about escaped. On the other hand, I met this poor bastard gray boy, Bo. And his forbidden love, Miss Penelope. Quite the most alive creature we have met down here. Suddenly, I'm marching as a suffragette. The looks of loathing on the faces of the locals delighted me, while their leader, a Miss Calhoun, amused me. I don't know much about good causes nor the joys of democracy, but I enjoyed my little experience riding alongside them. World is certainly changing fast. I love how Arthur can draw. 
I cannot draw. It would be like stick figures in the book. All right. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. I killed girls as betrayed us and did it happily. Is morning, Arthur. Betrayal in your world, Miss Grimshaw. No. Good morning. Idleness. Idleness is betrayal. Idleness is betrayal because it means I work so you don't have to. Oh That's my not right, is it? I guess not, miss. You're right, not me face. On. Oh my god, Susan. This old woman is such a grump. What is it? Probably like 5 a.m.? A girl can't read a book for a few minutes? Hey, Arthur. Bill? I'm on my way. Hold on. What the hell is going on here? Hi, you two. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my uh. fault. It was just one of them things. How come uh. every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's I'm in. A bank, Arthur. Yeah, I'm in. So, is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. Okay. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. Performing. So, Bill, this better be good. Maybe it a distraction. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. I mean, <laughs> hopefully we'll get the some debtor? money from it, Thomas you know? Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, I feel right. bad. The wife took Bobby. over the debt? How the hell is she gonna pay us back? I think they're talking about the guy that was like sick in the, he was like, Working on his crops, right? I'm pretty sure. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. True. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, We'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Nita should work. Once she's been she's itching to get involved, so... We'll move in. This will be good for her. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them? And any customers who are feeling uh, brave. Uh, and you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey! Wait, what does that mean, the vault man? Nah, best I do it. Oh, 
And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. He mentioned it. What kind of deals? I thought he did. See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work, same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Oh, Can I was thinking of Happy Air. Well, just be smart about it. Got oh, am I the problem? Right <laughs> Sorry. Yes, I know more. Oops. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played <laughs> Why are they blaming there. me? Couple of punch ups. I had to save John and Hosea. Or not, uh, not Jose, a Strauss. Right. Like I said, you mess up is just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know. I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. So, thinking this through. I'm pretty excited about this. Cornwall's train. My first bank we robbery in Red Dead. In Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's the genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, it wasn't worth the effort. If four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. All right. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that, but little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk, and before you say it, I know, it takes one to know one. I guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the I had a really time? fun time at so, the bar with Lenny, okay? How are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea, but then I figured they all are if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. Uh, I appreciate the confidence, kid. And if we didn't rob this bank, there's Valentine. We really Thoughts like that, and you're okay. one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Yes, we're doing this then. You did well with that gang at Shady Bell. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Oh, goodness. I don't like this music that's playing in the background. I'm pretty sure I've gotten a new horse since then, so maybe that'll help me. Nothing to see here, folks. We're brand new to the town. We've never been here. Oh my god, the music is so unsettling. I feel like something's about to happen. Good morning. Morning. Yeah, that ought to do her. 
shit. Let's leave the horses here off the main drag. Okay, okay, okay. Hey. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. I can't change my cargo. No. I just realized we're all wearing black trench coats. We look cool. Go to work. Of course. I didn't process in my head. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. Okay. Oh goodness. Do not mess this up, Karen. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? I don't think that lost girl. Well. So which one? Let's do Lost Girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? I'm just trying to challenge her acting skills. We've seen her drunk. <laughs> you really do. I believe in you, Karen. If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. Approach the bank door. I'm not sure this is quite the place. He said he loves Okay, me. we're going. He said he uh, hold on. Lady Wait till lady. she's gotten real dead. Would you care to? I, I'm with child, and it's, I don't want to go back to the workhouse. <laughs> Get your goddamn right. hands up. Go. This is a goddamn robbery. Nobody move. Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here! Unlock the door! Don't make us do it! It's unlocked! We're good! Oh, oh you think oh, we're here? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, Forced to tell her. Oh, open oh, it! Oh, oh. Oh. Open it! Right now! Slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. Too slow. I feel like if I beat him, it has it'll start over. I'm beating him. Too goddamn slow. Go. Uh. What's happening? Son of a bitch, hurry up! Come on! Huh. Uh. Huh. Oh. Okay. Holy shit, he was stressing me out like nothing else. You better watch yourself. I'm in. Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Where's the gold? Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I cough. Damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. Crack safes? Yeah, I think I should be able to crack these. All right, but you uh, better be quick. Okay, you okay. Shut the hell up and stay still. Okay, wait, wait. Slowly rotate to crack the first number. I wish I would have just blown them. Hurry up in there. I hear people out 
too. Boys, you need to move this along. How are you getting off? Uh, I should have just as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Hey, watch him there. Don't worry. I see him. Let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Bill, how's it going in there? We're oh. getting there. A few more minutes. Oh my god. I think I could go faster. That's another one cleared. This is so nerve wracking. Good. How much longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Oh, that one was really good. Last one. Good. We gotta move. Oh my god, I'm getting so good at it now. Let's go! 5,000! Uh. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god! I think... Uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? No one died. I'm trying to get in front of them. <laughs> you are walking way too slow for my likings. Already wanted here, so that's fine. The hell out of this town. Am I the one carrying all the money? Is that what Fault Guy means? It's on me. Got the other one?
Oh yes, I see them in front of us. Oh no, the carbine repeater's ass. We gotta go. Which one gives me dead eye? I don't have any. Oh, that's horse. Dead eye. Look out! More of the sons of bitches. Five Come bullets. On, get across. Gotta beat that train, Morgan. Oh, God. No. Woo. Where's Karen? All right. I think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. How much Bill, money did we just get? This is a very I thought she got train. hit by that damn train. I you'd be happy. <laughs> Even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Hey, it What's it going to be? Uh, well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't I feel like we probably made a, over a thousand Make each. Sure you ain't followed. Two thousand? How much? How much? This is Downs. How much is it? What? what was my cut? Yep. Ride to Downs Ranch, okay? Maybe I have to do that first. I don't remember how much I picked up. It was at least 15k, right? No way. I'm not trying to get ahead of myself, but I feel like Arthur's about to do something very, very nice. Yeah. We're about to see. We'll see. 15k. If you half that by... That'd be 7,500. And then... Split four ways. About maybe... 1500 ish each, roughly. Yeah. Wrong way. Given the horse a carrot all never episode. You never let me down. Honestly, let me give her a sugar cube too. Sugar cube. Oh, there it is. Good job. Good girl. Girl. Yep. Is Arthur good? He might need some food too. What does he want? Maybe some. After that, hell, some gin, some brandy, some rum, <laughs> some bourbon. Wow, I have the entire liquor shelf in my backpack or my satchel. Interesting. There it is. Some plain big game. not cold in the ground and you've come back here Archie I nearly paid off what was owed your husband knew the rules when he took that money now I'm real sorry about the way things turned out but he had a choice ain't my fault about the way the world is he didn't have a choice he was good and he did good there wasn't no choice in that and you've as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself 
You had a choice. You speak as if killing were something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, oh, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. I was so wrong. Holy crap, I was wrong. Holy shit, that's more than I thought. Oh my- Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Drinks on me. 2500? Well, I felt bad for a second. <laughs> I don't know. I just- I, I really thought for some reason that Arthur might have forgiven her debt just because, like, she lost her husband and it fell on her. And I don't know why I thought that. Maybe it's because of his journal entry after the first- time we went over there didn't seem like Arthur liked it wow 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 that is a lot of money I'll go ahead and contribute a little bit to the ledger why not No one's in there. I have $3,000! Oh my goodness! We're moving up in the world, you guys. One day we're gonna buy Arthur and house. More horses. Bunch of food. Bunch of booze. Give money. I'll give like... $30. Maybe 40 I'll get $40. That is what I like to see. Seems fair. And then... No, 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 no. I wanted to look at the ledger. Ledger. I'm very curious who else has contributed. John donated $84. Wow, John. There's only a few of us consistently contributing around here. Evening, oh, hey Jack. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and improve all the, the camp's tents. Why not? Might as well. Meet a, met a traveler selling an old boat. Useful? Horse station. Chicken coop. I kind of like the idea of having a chicken coop. Let's do that. I'm blowing all the money. Aww. So we're gonna have eggs now. There's 
There we go. I still have 3,000. I did all this good deeds. Very funny. What is Micah saying? 27! Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. I can't be greedy. Okay, you guys, that's gonna wrap up this one. I gotta say, I think robbing the bank has been my favorite activity so far. And not just because of the money, but it felt so intense and getting to crack the saves and just all of it just felt so much fun. It really felt like the outlaw life and just doing some illegal activities. I'm hoping that maybe in the next couple episodes, I'll get some further thoughts from Arthur or maybe he'll update his journal soon about collecting the money from Strauss. Cause the first time he did it, I thought that he kind of had an issue with it and wasn't really happy about it. But then obviously I think right now he's just kind of dealing with a, I have to do this mentality and this is just the way things are, and this is all that it is, but I have a feeling that he might change his opinion on that. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But I do feel bad that, you know, that woman's husband just died, and then we're trying to collect from all the money that she has from her, and they're trying to move on with them, their lives, and it's just sad. For some reason, I thought that Arthur was going to Maybe forgive the debt because we just made a, much, a bunch of money from the bank robbery, but no. That was wishful thinking for sure. But thank you guys so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed. I know I did. This was a lot of fun. And I will see you guys for the next one. Bye, guys.